of you. It's privileged to have the honor to grow up in the Chicago area and watch Norm Van Leer play basketball in person during his career with the Chicago Bulls. And back then in the mid-70s, there really wasn't a waiting list for season tickets like there is now when there's, what, 14,000 uh, the Bulls have waiting for season tickets. Back then at the old Chicago Stadium, you could buy a ticket between the baskets within the first 20 rows if you wanted, the night of the game, and we did. And with that ticket, we were able to see three of the best players ever to wear a Bulls uniform, and we're very happy that two are present with us tonight in Norm and Bob Love. But it is interesting, in the five years Norm has been with us at Sports Channel, he has tuned the colors down, although his analysis really is still as colorful as it ever was. And no doubt, uh, Norm's playing style and television work is well recognized, not only by the people here in Chicago, but by everyone around the country, because what we understand now, Norm and I are learning more and more every day, they're getting us on satellite over the world, and it's outstanding to be part of that. Well, for the past couple of months, a couple of us at Sports Channel have been working very hard on a videotape featuring Norm 20 years ago, get ready for this, and Norm today, as well as comments from his former teammates, competitors, and coaches. Let's roll the videotape. I think you're going to enjoy it. He was selected by the Chicago Bulls in the third round of the 1969 NBA draft. But then, just before the season opener, he was traded to the Cincinnati Royals, where he played for coach Bob Cousy. In November of 1971, the Bulls traded back for him, and he wound up playing seven seasons with the Chicago Bulls. Even though he once wore number 23, he was the best number two ever to play for the Chicago Bulls. He was stylish on the court, check out the socks and shoes, and that has carried over into television. In his 10-year NBA career, he scored more than 9,000 points and dished out more than 5,000 assists. Well, if I was on the podium and I'm roasting Norm Van Leer, I'd make sure all the seats were nailed down to the floor because he's been known during the course of a game to pick up a chair and get ready to throw it at somebody. So I think if I said something nasty about Storm and Norman, I'd be very careful and make sure all the seats are riveted to the floor. Well, I just know Norm was a, a feisty little guy and I'm afraid to say anything about him now because he might still be that way and come back and, uh, and take revenge on me. I've never seen a guy foul and scratch so much. I would say a competitive rascal that uh, if he wasn't on your side, you want to kill him easily. And if he was on your side, uh, you know, you might win. No, I saw him play uh, down there in St. Francis Loretto, and uh, he was terrific. He uh, did a great job. Uh, he was a feisty little god who uh, didn't know he was feisty and didn't know he was little. But, uh, I mean, he changed a lot of ball games. Well, Norm Van Leer, I guess that uh, this is a statement that's almost as monumental as the nation forgiving Richard Nixon. For a man who never liked people to suddenly be given a roast and everyone is in love with Storm and Norman, that's a tribute. Uh, you know, from the guy that was snarling and grabbing and holding people, even spitting in their faces, Norm, we love you. My recollection of Norm Van Leer was a guy who, when the big rebounders got the ball off the board, Norm Van Leer would sneak along the baseline, take it out of his hands, and lay it up, or get a score somehow for his team. He was the ultimate competitor, and the battles at practice between him and Jerry Sloan are legend. I don't know who won those, but I know they were hotly contested because they were both tough guys. We had some great battles, Norm and, and Jerry, uh, when I was uh, playing for Philadelphia. In fact, um, I was almost a Chicago Bull. I, I thought I was going to be the sort of the, the backup for both uh, Norm and Jerry for a few years, and then the trade fell through, and I ended up in Philly and, and spent my career there. But uh, Norm was an unbelievably intense competitor. And I will tell you this, uh, you know, I can't roast him because I don't know that much about Norma and the fact that I really respect how hard he's worked at his broadcasting. And uh, he's become really good, and I enjoy listening to him. He does a really good job. The NBA Finals are finally here. We got Chicago and Seattle. Now, it took all night long to break down my tapes, and here's what I came up with. Offense, 
Seattle loves a running gun. Look at that dunk. Sean Kemp, he's tough. I tell you what, you got to watch them. However, the triangle, the Bulls triangle, well, it's too complicated. Advantage, triangle, music. Seattle has this grunge stuff. I mean, I don't understand that. But here in Chicago, we got the blues. Now, the advantage, the Bulls. Because Seattle lost the last game. You're going home with the blues. Michael was slam dunking. Yes, all over you. You got the blues. Get out of town. Because I lost to my team. That being the Chicago blues. See ya. Tell you what, if you get another sitcom, I want to play your young brother. Young brother. Huh? Young brother. We will never shoot the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's wonderful. When I come to Chicago and I see you, I just get this eerie feeling that mom and dad didn't like you and they sent you to Pittsburgh. <laughs>